New tonight, four restaurants and three cockroach infestations. One place hit a gross out grand slam with four different kinds of vermin. Ooh, well tonight, Darcy Spears tracks down the customer whose complaint led to this week's Dirty Dining headliner. This was Diana Rodriguez's lunch on April 30th. She's watching what she eats a little more closely these days and with good reason. Because I'm pregnant, we are eight and a half months pregnant, so. That added attention to her food paid off recently at El Burrito on Del Webb and Rampart. And we were eating and right underneath all of the beans, it was the cockroach. I'm glad I saw it though, because I was about to pick it up with my chip. Diana eats there every week possibly twice on weekends because their chips and salsa really is good. But she couldn't stomach this or the owner's reaction to her complaint about the cockroach. And he was like, well, what do you want me to do about it? So he really just was not helpful at all. He was not nice whatsoever. Two can play the not nice game, so she posted about it on Yelp. And then I made the complaint on the Southern Nevada Health District website. Which is exactly what you should do when you find a cockroach in your taquitos. The health district investigated and found far more than that. Inspectors shut El Burrito down on May 2nd for operating under an imminent health hazard. There were dead multi-generational roaches throughout the kitchen food prep areas, inside the make table on the cook line, and even one on top of a food container. Live roaches observed crawling on the walls. Oh my gosh. Also crawling on a cutting board and breeding in a wall panel right next to the prep table. So as a result of your complaint, that's what the health district found. That is insane. That is disgusting. The inspection resulted in 36 demerits. There was expired food still in use past the seven day shelf life, multiple platters of fried chilies at unsafe temperatures that had to be thrown out, and ground meat stored in a bucket on the floor thawing in the temperature danger zone. Plus, lots of stuff in the fridge and freezer was uncovered and subject to contamination. Remember what Diana said about El Burrito's owner? He's not the nice, the nicest person. He's very rude. We didn't find him very welcoming either. Yes, I'm Darcy no, Spears from Channel 13. We're busy right now. I, mean, um, I have no time. Would you like you to have me come back for another time? Been, so just go away. Oh, you have nothing to say? No, there was a lot of, your place was anything. infested with cockroaches. I've been here 30 years, so just take that. El Burrito was back to a zero demerit A grade on May 6th. Too little, too late for this once loyal customer. Do you agree that dirty dining is the right term? Yes, absolutely. That is not okay, and I will not go back. The other two cockroach infestation closures were at Las Palmas Seafood Restaurant on East Sahara in Commercial Center and at Denny's inside Buffalo Bill's Hotel Casino in Prim. Denny's served up a different kind of grand slam on April 30th with four kinds of pests, roaches, fruit flies, large black beetles, and a dead rat on a glue board in the dining room. Buffalo Bill's main kitchen was also closed during the same inspection, but both reopened May 2nd with zero demerit A grades. We've got more pictures, more details, and statements from Las Palmas and Denny's on our website, plus a 36 demerit C grade at Kiara on Jones and Sunset. Check it all out at KTMV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.